King John Cena is the one and only leader of the C Nation, and you can bet this will be an exciting match. Well, they don't call him the face of the WWE for nothing, Cole. A bit of a test of strength here. Tie up. This is about skill and power. Seth Rollins knows how to punish off an opponent. Man, Seth Rollins, what offense! And a hurdle. John Cena with a nice reversal. Ooh. He does it again. He drops the elbow. Each year's event is better than the last. You know, Michael, it seems hard to believe that John Cena has held the WWE Championship more than 10 times. I know, Real. that sounds impossible. I remember the 10th time he won the title, taking it from Alberto Del Rio in Buffalo on the Night of Champions in 2011. That was the kind of a milestone that we might get to witness once in a generation. And we called the match. Yes. to get out of there in the worst way. A thunderous Irish whip into the barrier. Two. You know, we were talking about the incredible way John Cena secured his 10th WWE Championship. The deck was stacked against him on that night of champions in 2011. Yes. He had to beat Alberto Del Rio, and the Mexican aristocrat had some help. But as he usually does, John Cena dug down deep. He beat the odds, and he claimed the title. Cena was a man possessed that night. Oh, Cena was possessed, all right, Michael. And he did some repossessing, too. He stole Alberto's car before the match and entered the arena in it. Remember that? Of course I did. Cena was really trying to provoke Del Rio, and it worked. Alberto was furious. You don't steal an aristocrat's automobile. You just don't do it. Ouch. Schoolboy. He's going for the pin. Schoolboy. Well, we got a man in the squared circle today. I'm talking about John Cena. That has to be regarded as having as brutal a finishing move as exists in WWE. Michael, you've got to be talking about the attitude of John. Incredible move by John Cena. Schoolboy. He saw that one coming. John Cena with the offense. And he dodges that one. Whoa, this could be trouble. Seth Rollins knows how to punish off an opponent. Schoolboy. He was one step ahead on that one. Michael, speaking of John Cena's attitude adjustment, I don't think the name does it justice. It'll adjust more than your attitude. 
It'll adjust your spinal column right along with it, right? Yeah, of course. The impact of Cena's AA has on his opponent's body can't be overstated. It's just punishing. Oh! Oh, my gosh! And he sends him flying to the outside. Great offense by John Cena. Cena's got him. Two. Three. Look at this. Four. Oh, my. John Cena. I'll bet if you ask the folks in C Nation about John's attitude adjustment, their favorite memory of it will be the time he used it to put Y back through the roof oh, yes. of an ambulance at Payback 2. And it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. Well, no! Look out! More damage to the head and neck. The game plan seems to be king to go after the surgically repaired neck of John Cena. Well, as this match wears on, it's becoming more and more obvious that that's what the strategy is. Oh my, what a move! Can he score the pin? Get out of that. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? You know, there isn't a performer who's had a bigger impact in WWE over the past decade than John Cena. And sure, maybe he's got his share of detractors, but that comes with any territory when you go into every battle with as much attitude and perseverance as Cena does. Cena with momentum early on. Oh, mama! And down goes Cena. And here goes Cena. John Cena kind of blew it there. Playing my games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. Oh, and the reversal by John Cena. Great move. There's the cover. Can he do it? Seth Rollins gets out of trouble, and quickly. And John Cena finds himself in a fight. A bigger fight than he may have even expected. Well, I don't know about that. Cena's no fool. He knew this one wasn't going to be easy. Look at this! That's it. He's done. Moving up. Pure instinct now. John Cena with a nice reversal. Watch it! Watch it! Just waiting for the perfect time to turn the light. That's it! He's out! should do it right there. Three. And Seth Rollins is the winner. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. And here's some highlights from the matchup. Oh, what a spectacular match. And here are just a few of the great highlights. You want to talk about incredible high-impact sports entertainment? Check out what happened during this match. Here is your winner, Seth. Rollins! Absolutely amazing! We knew he felt he had to win this one tonight. I mean, there's absolutely no way to underscore how big this victory is. Perhaps the biggest in his life!